Welcome to tonight's essential class all about Ningxia Red, Ningxia Red 101. My name is Elizabeth Rose and so excited to bring you this information tonight all about Ningxia Red. You know, this drink is something that has probably been in my refrigerator for 10 years. And check it out. I've got my little bottle here. I'm probably going to take a few sips as we are on tonight because this is just it's like this elixir of life. I don't, it's hard to explain because it doesn't necessarily taste like the specific fruit that we're used to, like apples or like blueberries or cherries, but it's these tiny little red goji berries that makes up the potency of this amazing Ningxia red drink that comes in bottles or single packets. And so what I'm going to dig into tonight is really talking about what does Ningxia Red do in the body? Where does it come from? And answer all of those questions you may not have even thought of asking, but so it, completely fascinating. So let me go ahead here and share my screen. And let me see, dun, 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 dun. I want to, hmm, share screen, here we go. Give me just a sec. You can share. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Aha. <clears throat> all righty. I hope you all can see this. If there's any reason um, it's not coming up correctly, totally put something in the chat. But uh, let me go ahead and do slideshow view. And here we go. So Ningxia Red, what is Ningxia Red? And why do we love it so much? I'm gonna go back to the very beginning with this. Give me just a sec here. Ningxia Red 101, here we go. So if you've seen these beautiful red bottles, the amazing packets already, then you know that there's just already this beautiful like feeling that comes along with Ningxia Red. And so one of the first questions I want to ask is like, can we actually get everything we need from what we eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks in between? So when it comes down to the density of the nutrients that we actually get in our foods, there's some really interesting statistics that I want to share with you tonight. And so check that out. I mean, those vegetables look amazing, right? So you would think if I just ate enough vegetables, I would have everything in my diet. However, we're going to figure out that <clears throat> there's this element of like what we eat today isn't necessarily what our grandparents were eating. The amount of nutrients in our foods today isn't at the high potency level that it was way back when. So hmm, let me just get to my notes here real quick. <clears throat> One main thing when we talk about food is part of it comes down to what are we putting in our bodies and then what are we deciding to cut out of our daily regimen, right? So there's probably things that you just intuitively know, maybe I shouldn't drink soda. Maybe I shouldn't drink um, some really sweet fruity drinks. Maybe I shouldn't eat as much sugar. Maybe for my body, I don't do so well with gluten or eggs, but I can have X, Y, Z. So this is an element that you're probably already, you already have an understanding of what your body maybe does well with and maybe doesn't do well with, but keep that in mind as we go through today's training, because Ningxia Red is just an addition to what you're already doing. So I definitely want to stress that it is not the end all be all to everything miracle elixir that you're just going to take two shots of every day and you're going to feel perfect. It absolutely adds to the overall quality of life and goes to support every single system of our body. However, if you're drinking a six pack of Diet Coke every day and you're two ounces of Ningxia Red, you're basically canceling out all the all that nutrient power of your Ningxia Red. It's just a fact. Things like drinking too much carbonated 
beverages and things like that, that actually leaches minerals out of our body. So if you're experiencing any kind of joint pain, just fatigue, overall sluggishness, you've got the energy highs and lows throughout the day. I want you to be thinking during this presentation about what is it that maybe you could cut out of your everyday diet that you buy at the grocery store in order to then be giving your body the fuel that it needs and also to have the budget to add Ningxia Red to like your food budget. Because this is what I always share is that Ningxia Red is like a food. It'd be like when you go and you get all the ingredients for a salad, you're budgeting for how much your salad is gonna cost, right? And then your meats and then your fishes and then whatever else you're getting. So think of Ningxia Red as just one thing that you are actually putting on your grocery list on a monthly basis. And we're gonna find out what it does. <clears throat> so food is repeatedly grown on the same land it, with pesticides and fertilizers. Scientists are creating new varieties of crops to grow faster and to resist bugs. So the plants don't have the time they need to absorb the same amount of nutrients like they did 50 years ago. The soil loses its vitamins, minerals, and microbes faster than they can be replenished. And here's an interesting study by Cushy Institute, and they did an analysis of nutrient data from 1975 to 1997. So that's only 22 years. And what they found was that the average calcium levels in 12 fresh vegetables dropped from 27% Iron levels, 30%. Vitamin C levels dropped 30% between that time period of 22 years. That's pretty massive, right? So you'd actually have to eat eight oranges to get the same amount of vitamin A that your grandparents got back then. Interesting fact, right? Oh my goodness. So maybe you're thinking that if you can't get enough nutrients from the plants, you could just make it, or you could just, make it up with meat. Another interesting assumption, maybe not the best assumption, when plants contain fewer nutrients, the animals that eat them are also malnourished. A study from the Journey of Nutrition and Health found that copper levels in the UK are down 90% in dairy, 55% in meat, 76% in vegetables. So then, let's move on to water, is also depleted of minerals because of the number of plants pulling for more nutrients from the same land. Modern production methods, which are used to make the industry more efficient, are actually detrimental as crops are no longer maintained by hand. Then there are town filtration systems that work with our water supply, right? And so many of these filtration systems remove important minerals <clears throat> like magnesium, which is essential for 300 biochemical reactions in the body. Then to top it all off by adding chlorine and fluoride. Are you aware that most people know that there's chlorine in their water, right? Did you know that fluoride is in a lot of municipal water systems now? Fluoride is also in toothpaste, and I won't tell you the effects of fluoride, but I highly recommend you go and research the physical effects of fluoride because generally it's not something you'd want to be putting in your body. Beyond that, nutrient absorption declines with age. So the older we get, the less we absorb nutrient wise. Nutrient deficiencies hurt our performance. It causes DNA damage makes you age faster and causes chronic disease. So these are all reasons why we need to supplement our diet. And you've probably heard that before, but we're gonna go into, you could just go get, you know, a multivitamin at the grocery store or why would Ningxia Red actually be something that you would choose to use as a supplement? <clears throat> This is kind of a cool picture, right? What do you think? Can you make up your own nutrients with other foods? And we pretty much went through that just now, but what an interesting visual effect. You have your vegetables, you have some meats, you have a hamburger, you have pizza here. And it all goes back to that question of, are we getting enough nutrients that our body actually needs on a day-to-day -to, -day to fuel 
all the systems of our body. <clears throat> so here we go, the case for supplementation. Um, when you actually get Ningxia in your house, you know, and you set a bottle on the counter for a couple of hours, and then you go back and check it out, what you're actually gonna see is that the Ningxia berry puree at the bottom of the bottle, after it sets for a while, you're gonna see some, some setting, some sedimentation. And so what that is, is that's the whole food supplement that is in there that does settle to the bottom over time. You know, if you've ever heard how peanut butter, you should buy peanut butter that actually has the oil on top. Why is that? Because it hasn't been overly processed so that it all just sticks and stays in there. So one beautiful thing about the Ningxia Red is it is at the least amount of process that it needs to be in order to, of course, stay safe in a bottle, et cetera, have a beautiful taste, have the right formulation, but it's not over-processed. Um, and it's not gonna be one of those things that is like a junk juice, like a uh, apple by concentrate kind of a thing. So, that's a beautiful thing about the Ningxia Red. And let's talk about Ningxia wolfberries, because as I mentioned before, the wolfberries are actually the primary ingredient in Ningxia Red, along with others that we'll go into as well tonight. So Ningxia wolfberries grow in the Ningxia River Valley of China. On top of that, the juice is blended with blueberries, aronia, cherry, pomegranate, and plum juices, natural stevia extract, grapeseed extract, pure vanilla extract, and orange, yuzu, lemon, and tangerine essential oils. Yuzu is an oil that you actually can't get by itself from the Young Living product line. Um, it's used only for Ningxia Red. Ningxia is the only nutrient drink on the market that combines the whole Chinese wolfberry and the seed to seal premium essential oils into a beverage. So this is something that sets Ningxia Red aside, is that it actually has essential oils added to your Ningxia Red. Young Living is one of the, I would, I want to say the only company, but there may be others out there that infuse their supplements and things like Ningxia Red with the essential oils. So in two weeks, we're going to talk about supplements on our Monday night training. And you're going to see the power of adding essential oils to the supplement actually helps it metabolize better in the body and have those extra benefits that the essential oils have as well. So a few interesting facts is that there's at least 80 species of lysium berries worldwide, but only the barbarum shows the highest nutrient level in scientific testing. The Ningxia region holds the gold certificate which is Chinese equivalent of the USDA's organic certification. So they're grown with no fertilizers, no pesticides, no sulfur, no irradiation, no dyes, no heavy metals or lead, arson, mercury, or calcium in the soil. Wow. The Ningxia region's irrigation water comes from the Yellow River, which is upstream from all the pollutants of the major cities, and the Yellow River floods the Ningxia plants with a layer of minerals and silt every year. So you're constantly getting this turnover of minerals and of water. It's not just staying there as a stagnant kind of a thing. So the farms in Ningxia, this province of China, are in a semi-arid region with plenty of sunlight and a high temperature difference between the night and day. <clears throat> so if you could think of like sap running out of maple trees and how you need to actually extract the maple syrup, during that um, great differentiation in weather and temperature, that's similar to what happens with the Ningxia berries. Temperature differences are good for the liquid in plants and they keep them moving. The elevation is just right for the plant to be the most productive and any other place in the world would not have the same ecological conditions of the pH of the water and the nutrients in the soil, the silt from the Yellow River, Etc. Wow. So already you can see one of the main ingredients in Ningxia Red is very well uh, chosen as far as where Young Living gets their Ningxia berries from. And that's amazing. So 
A fun quote here says, any other place in the world would not have the right nutrients in the soil for Ningxia. So of course, if you have the question, why is this being sourced outside of the United States? That's the answer. It really comes down to the quality of the soil, the air, the water, etc., And also the wolfberries came from China. So they're in their more like a natural habitat and the plants are naturally going to do better being grown in that region of the world. So there is an interesting fact. And a few other things is that Ningxia has a high nutritional content and naturally occurring organic sugar. It's the sugar that allows your cells to actually talk to each other. Ningxia is China's only medical wolfberry production base, medicinal. So Ningxia, this area of China, is China's only medicinal wolfberry production base. The Lyceum barbarum variety of the wolfberry is superior in vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants, making it more than any other wolfberry in the world. Here's a little Chinese proverb to round it out, and here's how it goes. If you want to be happy for an hour, go take a nap. If you want to be happy for a day, go fishing. If you want to be happy for a lifetime, help people. <laughs> so that's a Chinese proverb. And honestly, I would venture to say that that is why I'm on here sharing right now is just from that heart of really wanting to help people. I really want my friends, my family, my neighbors to feel the very best that they can every day of their life. And I feel like with Nisha Red, with supplements, with the essential oils, so many of the things that Young Living Essential Oils has to offer, my job is just to share the education about that. And then a person can make a very educated guess or decision as to how they want to invest into their health on a daily basis. So think of Ningxia Red as an investment into your health. Maybe you're cutting out potato chips and Twinkies and things like that in order to afford Ningxia Red. Maybe you're cutting out a few Starbucks a month. Usually when I go to Starbucks, my bill is like six, seven dollars. Times two in the car, twelve dollars. Okay. So one bottle of Ningxia Red, if you cut out Starbucks for like, let's see, one week a month, you'd be able to afford Ningxia Red, which is going to give your body so many more nutrients than that cup of coffee laden with sugar and flavors and things like that. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> um, so moving on here, hmm, let me uh, finish up. So there's just a few more points here which is how does Ningxia Red actually get to you? So let's talk about the journey that Ningxia took to get to your doorstep. If you have a bottle of Ningxia Red, it's actually hard to bring something sacred from China all the way to the United States. So Young Living's founder, D. Gary Young, was in search of the fountain of youth, the plant that was eaten that helped people live well into their hundreds. And this was something amazing that Gary Young found out is people in this region of China, the Ningxia region of China, has the most centenarians anywhere in the world. And that's people that are living over hundred years. So he was wondering, is it the food? Is it the water? Is it their attitude? Whatever. And one of the common denominators that he saw within all the families that lived there and worked there was that they were constantly eating the dried wolf berries, drinking juice, things like that. And so he believes that that actually added to their quality of life and their length of life over time. We'll talk about antioxidants, which is a major part of sustaining the cells of our body over long periods of time. So Gary Young searched in all the corners of the earth and his journey is actually chronicled in a book called Ningxia Wolfberry, The Ultimate Superfood. And here it is. So here is this book. Um, you can purchase it off of Amazon, I believe, or a third-party publisher. And seriously, chock full of all the research and more that I'm giving you today. So I highly recommend this be something on your shelf if you're one of those people that like wants the stats and really wants to know all the details. Um, mm -hmm. So let's see. So, you know, as Gary was there in the Ningxia region of China, he just found out that people had an exceptional lifespan and something in common. 
And so they were eating the little red berries. So he actually took the berries back into his lab in the United States. And this is how the journey began. Um, <clears throat> Gary Young found Nature Red and it actually took seven years to get past customs in the US and get it formulated. So this was a long process that this amazing man, you can see his picture here, Gary Young, the founder of Young Living Essential Oils, had the pleasure to meet him, travel with him, learn from him. What an amazing, um, amazing man with amazing vision to really bring health and natural health care to the world. So he was willing to do whatever it took. And um, that wasn't always easy. You know, it's not easy doing something that other people don't want to do or other people don't want you to do. And uh, so he had to fight a lot of battles when it came to the healthcare industry. And I'm so thankful he stuck with it because now we have things like Ningxia Red. And um, so let's go into now a few things, seven main points as far as why, kind of like the science behind Ningxia Red. <clears throat> And real quick, I'm actually going to my personal story. Take a little swig of nature. <laughs> so usually when a bottle gets this low, there's about probably four ounces in here left. Um, I will take it and I'll fill it to the top with water, pure water, and drink it throughout the day. So I love to do that. Or just mm -hmm, right out of the refrigerator. It's a good thing nobody else lives in my house right now because they'd probably be like, ew, stop drinking out of the niche bottle. But I love it. Just do it. And it's amazing. <laughs> oh, is this going to work? Let me see if this video will work. No, I don't think it's going to. There was a super cool video I wanted to show, but it's not going to work today. So let's talk about the seven key, um, the science behind Ningxia Red. So antioxidants, reason number one. Facts behind it is that one ounce of Ningxia Red is two pounds of wolfberries, okay? So think of an ounce of Ningxia Red is two pounds of the actual wolfberries. There's 17 or 18 species of wolfberries, but only the Ningxia wolfberry that has the ability to deliver all of the micro and macronutrients that are bioavailable to the cells of your body. Antioxidants play a huge role in aging, memory, arthritis, inflammation, and so much more. The oxygen radical absorbance capacity, you've probably heard of this, it's ORAC, O-R-A-C, is a method of measuring antioxidant capacities. Presently, the highest antioxidant on the ORAC scale is vitamin C, which comes between 800 and 1200. It's followed by blueberries, raspberries, pomegranates, etc. So imagine that a combination of fruits together reach around 3000 on the ORAC score. <clears throat> Are you ready to hear what Ningxia Red is? This blows my mind. And this is one reason why when Gary actually um, sent the wolfberries to a laboratory and had them tested, it came back and he didn't believe them. He said, test it again, that's too high. He had him tested three different times. And this is when he was just discovering about wolfberries because he said, this is higher than any fruit, any um, produce, you know, any vegetable that I've seen as far as the ORAC score. So Ningxia Red's ORAC score is 27,300. 27,300. And we just said that Presently, the highest antioxidant on the ORAC score is vitamin C, which is between 800 and 1200. So like your Ningxia Red is off the charts when it comes to antioxidant ability. Number two, acid to alkaline. And who knows that if you have an acidic uh, condition in your body, then acidity in the body is a very good host for disease. If so, your goal is to actually get your body more alkaline in order to ward off disease and not let it replicate in that way. So when we're talking about acidity, so in your body, you have alkaline acid, 
Hmm. And so, as I just mentioned, is that the acidity or excuse me. So what creates disease? Like I said, and it's acid. So acid breeds viruses, bacteria, and fungus. When you can keep your pH neutral, you inhibit growth of these things that you don't want in your body. Everything we eat converts in the stomach, which has a pH of 2.5. Wolfberry goes into the stomach and here's what it does. So it starts to break down as acid, but the minute it hits the small intestine, it immediately converts back to alkaline. So it's acid binding and alkaline forming. This is very important about Ningxia Red. Acid binding and alkaline forming. Only one other food does that, and it's lemons. So lemons, very acidic when it goes in, and then it creates alkalinity in the body. Wolfberry is chemically structured to convert because of the amino acid trypsin, which is responsible for the conversion of amino acids in protein. So guess what Ningxia is? Ningxia is alkaline protein. It's the most perfect superfood that exists. Mm, oh my goodness. On to point number three, free radicals. Where do free radicals come from? They come from the air, electromagnetic fields, stuff we're eating like chocolate and sugar. They are the army guys on the wrong side of the team. They wreak havoc. You can outnumber the army with Ningxia. Your body does a good job of taking care of oxidative stress, but one of the reasons that we age, the reasons we get wrinkly, the reasons we feel tired is because of an excess of free radicals. So everything that's high in ORAC will flush your system really well. Your body gets quadrillions of free radical attacks every day. So think about 10,000 attacks per cell per day. That is a lot of free radical attacks on the body. And the, so the body needs a leg up. Most other nutritional drinks do little against superoxide, which is the worst free radical because the drinks are so heavily processed. So Gary worked for years to protect the berry and all the way from the field to the bottle. And this was such an important thing that he knew, I have to have this processed in the best way so that there's no pesticides, herbicides, other icky stuff in there. And it's just the integrity of the wolfberry. So that means it's a powerhouse designed to fight free radicals in the body. So there's number three. <clears throat> number four, you excited yet? Anybody excited? I wish I could see some uh, comments here, but I think because I've got the slideshow going, I'm not seeing comments. I'm gonna hop over on Facebook real quick because I wanna see some comments. Um, how about write in the chat, write in the comments of Facebook, if you're already jazzed about this, like, have you learned anything new about Ningxia Red you didn't already know? And are you inspired and encouraged to uh, keep using it? <laughs> if you are, maybe up your dosage, maybe go from two ounces a day to four ounces a day of Ningxia Red. This is so cool. So let's move on to number four, which is minerals and vitamins. And the interesting thing is that minerals have to be properly balanced. Too much calcium will result in zinc deficiency. Too much zinc can suppress immunity and lead to anemia. Both the mineral profiles and the mineral balance of Ningxia wolfberry is without an equal in the plant kingdom. With magnesium to calcium ratios of one to one, zinc to copper of two to one, and potassium to magnesium of eight to one, it's actually exactly what your body needs in proportion. So this is huge when you're wondering, okay, vitamins, minerals, et cetera, I need to get the right intakes. Ningxia Red actually helps with the balance of your vitamins and minerals. Number five, it's a macronutrient. So you're getting the whole food nutrient, nutrition. It comes from the plant and not a synthetic source, huge. It's coming from a food-based source. So that means it's easier for a body to process and you'll absorb more of what you're eating. It's also a liquid. So if you did a digestive function test, 95 to 98% of us would actually come back with a weak or deficient digestive system 
because of medications, things like stress, processed foods. To get Ningxia in a liquid form means that you actually absorb it faster into your body and your body doesn't have to break it down. So having this in a liquid format versus a pill versus a food that you're eating, that you're chewing, et cetera, it actually has maximum absorbent ability into the body. Um, number six, we just have two more points here left. It's infused with the essential oils. So essential oils and Ningxia act as a delivery system to the body. Because it's infused with the Young Living Seed to Seal Premium Essential Oils, it increases the absorption rate of Ningxia, and the tiny oils act as a delivery system for the larger molecules. So that is why it's so beautiful to have the addition of the essential oils in something like Ningxia Red, because we're getting all of the extra things that it does to actually help absorb it into the body. Last and final, number seven, it has the right sugar and the right enzymes. So you might ask, is sugar bad? Well, not all sugars. Ningxia has the right sugar to open the door to your cell. When your cell membranes are inflamed, oxidized, toxic, lacking in mitochondrial function to energize the receptors to open and close, we have no energy. So Ningxia sugars, they actually open the doors to the cells so good information can get past them. It crosses the lipid layer of the cell and passes inside. And a neat thing is that only eight sugars in the earth can actually open that door. So Ningxia has four out of the eight naturally occurring inside of the wolfberry. Another amazing fact of nature, right? So if we're also talking about enzymes, by the age of 40, you start losing digestive enzymes in the gut. It's just a fact of nature. Anyone over 40, you have way less enzymes than you had when you were 20 or 15 or 25. So um, with that, Ningxia is loaded with the right enzymes that can help you break down food and get the nutrients out of what you eat. So if you're thinking, oh, I need to up my enzyme intake, well, I still do use an enzyme. I use Young Living's Essentials, I'm four. However, I can feel a legitimate difference when I'm taking my Ningxia Red on a daily basis. I can tell that my food process is better and I feel like I'm getting more energy and I'm getting more out of the food I eat. Um, one of my favorite things to do, no joke, if you are like die hard, gotta have coffee because it makes me go poo in the morning. Sorry, I just said poo, but it's legit. Like coffee helps you eliminate, right? So if you're one of those people that needs a little bit of help in the mornings, go for your Ning Shred. <clears throat> no joke. For me, two ounces of Ning Shred in about 10 ounces of water first thing in the morning gets me going way more than coffee does. It, it's just me, but it really does. So that's my personal testimony about why I love Ningxia. First thing, first glass of water in the morning, and then I'll do maybe another two ounces in the afternoon, two, three, four p.m. Um, when I need another pick me up, or if I'm doing a really heavy cardio workout in the middle of the day, um, whatever time of the day, I will have my Ningxia red after that, and it also helps to just kind of get my body back after a good workout. So few ways that I use Ningxia. Um, here's some fun facts, a few extra facts about Ningxia. <clears throat> it contains every essential amino acid. It contains 13% protein, the highest protein content of any fruit. It has trace minerals. It has naturally occurring vitamin B1, B6, and B2. The cool thing about B2, that's the energy vitamin. Mm, how cool is that? so we can get extra energy. It has more vitamin C than all the fruits and the veggies in on the earth. So Ningxia Red has 148 milligrams of vitamin C per serving. Parsley, and so in contrast to that, you could imagine, so that's 148 milligrams. Parsley and spinach only have 133 milligrams. Oranges have 53 milligrams. So Ningxia Red has more calcium than cherries, 16 milligrams, and 
the cruciferous vegetables, which are around 50 milligrams. Ningxia red has more beta carotene than carrots, and it's loaded with fiber because the skin of the berry is actually preserved. And so in your Ningxia red, you have the whole berry, not just the inside, but you have the whole berry. So that actually means that you're getting fiber in the Ningxia red as you are drinking it as well. How cool about that? Now, what do you think about this picture? Gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna jump back over here to our comments real quick and see. Ooh, Janine, I love that Ningxia turns alkaline. Yes, um, love that it has yuzu oil. Yvonne says, I will have to try the Ningxia berry first thing in the morning with the water, trying to get off the coffee. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Good, good, good. Great comments here. Um, all righty. So what does Ningxia do in the cells? Here we go. Perhaps the best thing the wolfberry does for your body is what it does in the cells, into the cell membrane. So the cell membrane is made up of oils, fats, and phospholipids. There are proteins floating on this liquid and very flexible sea of fat. The proteins are like antennas that pick up messages from other cells. So you know the messengers that come into a cell? They have fancy names like insulin, thyroid enzymes, digestive enzymes, neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. They are messengers that do not work well until you attach the right sugars to them. So you can see the power of nutrition. Fats, proteins, and sugars are needed. If you're eating the wrong sugar, you're causing the whole structure of the cell membrane to act dysfunctional. If cell communication breaks down, your health breaks down. And if you mess up the cell membrane, you need more insulin to get the job done. <clears throat> so if we're talking about the fact that 40% of people are insulin resistant, this is a really big deal. Now, one of the facts I just read recently was that if a man has a waist of more than 40 inches and a woman more than 35, they're insulin resistant. That's an interesting uh, test to see. So that's why you wanna stay away from the bad sugars. <clears throat> and this is how things you read can help. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to wrap it up, kind of in two sentences, the science, what does Ningxia Red do in the cell? The Ningxia wolfberry and good nutrition can impact your cells. It helps cellular communication take place and it gives the mitochondria the energy it needs. It provides micronutrients and feeds uh, mitochondria. It has the right sugars to open doors. So when you eat poorly, your cells get mucked up. And that lipid layer on the outside of the cell gets sticky. So the cells stack on top of one another like coins. Ningxia actually wipes the doorway clean, increasing the surface area so that good information can get past to the cell wall. So there you go, down to the science of what does Ningxia do? And here's an interesting thing is that Ningxia isn't necessarily healing the body, one of its main functions is that it cleans the cell receptor sites so the body can do its own work and communicate like the boss that it is. It becomes like a sidekick for the body so it can do what it was created to do. So let's test it out. The best way to experience things you read is to just get it into your body <laughs> and try it for yourself. So Here's a question I get asked sometimes, how, how long does it take to actually notice the benefits? <clears throat> I think for everyone, it's going to be slightly different. Some notice it immediately, some in the first couple of weeks, and some in a few months. So I would say, get Ningxia Red for 90 days. I always encourage my friends, family, customers, do something for 90 days because it takes the cell of your body 90 days to actually um, start to function in a different way, start to process in a different way, 
And sometimes our minds also have to catch up. We're not always going to physically recognize the difference that's happening in our body because our body is just so good at what it does. It just does what it's supposed to do. And we're not always thinking about it. So I highly recommend doing two to four ounces a day for 90 days. And you'll definitely see a difference in, in how your body feels with that. So isn't this a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle, gorgeous image? It just, mm, it just makes me want to drink my nature red. <laughs> um, let me see here. So as far as time goes, we are doing good. Hmm. Um, let's move on to, so like I said, I recommend two to four ounces a day. And that is a very base dose. I would say start out with two for sure. For me personally, when I'm traveling, um, when I'm maybe not getting the nutrients that I need through my food as much as I normally do, I'll do two in the morning, two in the afternoon. If I am hiking mountains, working out, you know, doing a lot of physical activity or even something that's very brain intensive, like if I go to, go to a conference, I'll probably do two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two after dinner. No joke, because I can just tell that I'm fueling my body with what it needs to actually keep going and be really active. Um, I've known triathletes that will actually have their little uh, water pouches, you know, on their belt. And so as they're running 10, 15 miles, they'll have, you know, their few ounces of Ningxia Red mixed in with their water. And it just helps to replenish the, the nutrients and minerals in your body as you're using them up as you're going. Um, let's move on. I think I have a fun slide as far as some cool things you can do with Ningxia Red. So here are some ways to use it. <clears throat> Actually, let's go into a few recipes. So feel free to take a screenshot of this if you'd like. But there's so many cool ways to, to incorporate Ningxia Red. I love adding Young Living's Vitality oils to it. If you're familiar with that, that just means that if Vitality is written on the label, that means it's safe for internal consumption in small amounts. So for instance, like the Baja Blaster, two drops orange Vitality, three drops lime Vitality, and two ounces of Ningxia Red. So you can do all these fun things. Um, Sunkissed, Dreamsicle, Orange Rush. So I haven't mentioned this before, but you can see that there's the Ningxia Nitro little tubes, and there's also the Ningxia Zing, which is, it is sparkling. So if you're looking for an alternative to soda, it's more of a healthy alternative to soda. And, you know, oh my gosh, at the Young Loving Conventions, they, I would buy a Ningxia Zing, and then I would add a Nitro to it. <laughs> <laughs> for some extra energy. The nitro, I won't go into it too much today, um, but it is chocked full of things that actually help with mental alertness and energy. So instead of going for like a big cup of coffee in the afternoon or a five hour energy, Ningxia Nitro is the best go-to because again, it's feeding your body with what it needs, not just souping it up with caffeine and sugar because we're all about that, right? If we're trying to kick the toxins out of our house by changing over our cleaners and we're buying organic foods instead of non-organic, you don't want to be drinking monster drinks and Red Bulls and things like that that are going to affect your blood sugar and just be dumping lots of things into your body that it's going to take a while for your body to, to get rid of it and to process it, right? Um, now let's move on very quickly. This is a fun slide that I like. If you're somebody that enjoys a little bit of alcoholic beverages every once in a while, you could do something like the vodka zing. One can of Ningxia zing, two ounces of vodka, and two drops of lime vitality. <laughs> so no, not everyone drinks, but these are some super fun ones. Um, here we go. So how do you actually get started drinking Ningxia Red if maybe you're not um, currently a member of Young Living? I know there may be some folks that see this video after the fact and um, have not gotten started with Young Living, or you love this drink and you're like, oh my gosh, this presentation was amazing. I know that my friend so-and-so needs it. 
here's how you can help them get it, okay? Young Living has an amazing basic Ningxia Red starter bundle, okay? So this bundle, right off the bat, $135. What you get with it is two big bottles of the Ningxia Red and 30 of the single packets. So those single packets are two ounces. That's one serving. That's all you need for one serving. So this is beautiful. And actually, um, when I order Ningxia Red, I usually do two bottles and the 30 single packs um, on my subscription order, which is a monthly order because I love like the bottles when I'm at home, I just drink it up right out of my refrigerator. If I've got guests, okay, I'll pour it into a glass so that they can also enjoy my nature red. However, those single packets, I'll put one in my purse, you know, in the car, whatever, um, guys, gym bag, and just take that whenever you need it kind of a thing. So, and plus it also includes this little box of the nation nitro. So those are like one ounce little nitro packets. And like I said, amazing for energy. So this is the Ningxia starter bundle. And I would love you to put in the chat if you know someone that would benefit from drinking Ningxia Red or Ningxia Nitro or needs Ningxia Zing as a substitute for their soda addiction, okay? Um, totally, write some stuff in the chat because I think we will encourage each other to just add this as an everyday thing to our, to our budget, to our diet. It is amazing. Um, when it comes down to benefits of purchasing the Ningxia starter bundle, okay, for a new person is anytime their first order is over hundred PV, they automatically get wholesale pricing. So boom, you're locked in at wholesale pricing. Anytime your order is over 100 PB, you get free shipping. So you get free shipping. And then the other beautiful thing is you have access to these um, subs subscribe to save, which is our monthly ordering program. So if you put Ningxia Red on your order once a month, it's just going to send you Ningxia Red, whatever you order, whether it's two bottles, da 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 da, on the packets, it's going to just ship that out same day. Same thing every month, although you can always go and change what's on your order and the amount of your order. You can even change the day if you need to. So I love our subscribe to save because when you order just 50 PV a month, which is equivalent to $50 on subscribe to save, it locks you in as a rewards, um, as a loyalty rewards member. And that gives you for the first three months, 10% of the PV of your order gets put into like a piggy bank. So let's say you, um, you order 100 PV, your first order, and it's a subscription order, you're automatically going to get 10 points, equivalent to $10, put into a piggy bank. And then that's for month one, two, and three. Come month four, you guys, 20%, 20% that you're actually getting put into your piggy bank. So I have gotten so much free products from being unsubscribe to save and being a loyal to rewards member. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, over and above that, let's say your order reaches 190, 250 or 300 PV. Young Living is going to automatically add freebies into your cart. So any month that your order is over 190, 250 or 300 PV, you automatically get those freebies added um, as a regular order. And then if it's a subscription order, you get extra freebies added. So that's an extra benefit to being a, a subscribe to save person. And I think that covers everything for tonight. What a fun, fun thing to get to share, you guys, because Ning Red, I just truly believe, and, and I can honestly say customers, I probably have at least 100 customers on Ningxia Red right now, and I always hear the benefits of it. So what I would like to do is see if there's anyone that would like to comment at all. I can open this up, and I think you'll be able to um, unmute yourself. Let me go ahead and stop screen sharing. And uh, if anyone would like to share uh, comments, uh, if you have a little bit of testimony about Ningxia Red, feel free to unmute yourself and share something. So 
So uh, let me see, screen share is off. Okay, and I'm gonna jump over here to Facebook real quick and see how we're doing. Dun, 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 dun. How is Facebook? Okay, comments, comments. Oh, there's more comments on Facebook. I love it. Hey. Hey, is that Daniel? It is, it is. <clears throat> Daniel, what do you wanna <laughs> share, buddy? You are amazing. Yeah, I'm actually in the process of cooking dinner right now. Oh, no way. But, uh, That's awesome. Oh, yeah. But no, I was going to say one thing that I really love about Ningxia Red, because naturally I've been using it for years as well, uh, when mom got us all hooked on it. <laughs> <laughs> it stuff. No, I really, I really love the berries in it and everything like that and all the amino acids and whatnot. But anyways, I actually put it in my smoothies every day, both my wife and I, before she goes to work uh, in the oh, evening. Cool. We both drink a wonderful smoothie with a ton of berries in it and wool. And uh, yeah, anyways, it is it is amazing stuff. The Ningxia Red is one of the primary ingredients we have in the smoothie every day. And it's just very refreshing to start the day off with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. And it's not too sweet either. You don't feel like, oh, kind of like you do when you've got a really high powered protein powder that's just too vanilla-y. <laughs> oh yeah, not at all. Yeah. It's fine. One yeah, of my no, favorite it. things to do is actually take a shaker bottle with some oat milk and two ounces of Ningxia and then some of Young Living's Pure Protein Complete and the vanilla because those flavors mix really well. And I just shake that up and that's an amazing meal replacement. Mm -hmm. It really is. Great. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. Anytime. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight. Thank you everyone for being on. I hope this was valuable. I'm going to go ahead and uh, download it and share it on my website, lifewithrose.com, and then click on the resources tab. And I have a lot of downloadable um, PDF documents there, as well as educational videos all about health and podcast as well. So if you're somebody that really wants to listen, you can just listen to the podcast as you're going down the road or watch the videos and um, hope this is great information and a value. So tune in next week. Next week is going to be all about thieves. We're going to cover the whole thieves product line Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Looking forward to that. And feel free to invite any of your uh, friends, family, whether they're part of Young Living or not, because this is just education that I love to share. And I want to get this information out to the most, uh, the greatest amount of people possible. So thank you for tuning in and sharing. Um, if this was valuable and you want to share this with anyone, uh, just within a day, go to my website, lifewithrose.com resources, and the video will be up there. So God bless. And until next week. Bye-bye.